Now that we have our gravitational force function working, we can start to build a planetary system. A planetary system is any number of planets, asteroids, comets, etc. that orbit a common star. Each object's orbit is primarily shaped by the force between it and the star. But all those other objects in the planetary system, no matter how small, also exert a gravitational force on each other. Once we have more than two objects in a planetary system, the mathematics becomes impossible to solve by hand, and we must turn to a computer simulation. But this is exactly why we created our force function. In this code, which is available in a link in the description below, we've set up one star and three planets. Notice that the star has a much higher mass than the planets, so its force on them will be the strongest. But we still need to account for the forces between the planets. So when we set up the Euler-Kromer method, we add together these forces. For planet 1, we add the forces it feels from the star, planet 2, and planet 3. For planet 2, we add the forces it feels from the star, planet 1, and planet 3. Notice that we don't include forces that a planet isn't involved in. For example, planet 1 is not affected by the force between the star and planet 2, or the force between planet 2 and planet 3. Think of it like this, if Emily and Kyle are playing a game of tug of war, and Mark and Jill are playing a separate game of tug of war, Emily and Kyle's game is not affected by Mark and Jill's game. Running this code, we can see several interesting trends arise. First, the closer a planet is to a star, the shorter amount of time its orbit takes. In fact, the period of each orbit depends only on the planet's distance from the star and the mass of the star. You could double the mass of each planet and their orbital periods would stay the same. Second, the green planet alters the red planet's orbit when they get closer to each other. This can seem scary when you think about all the planets in our own solar system. But fear not, our planets are much farther apart than this. As a last example, let's add in a massive planet far away from the star, similar to our solar system's Jupiter. Comparing the resulting animation with the previous, we see that the new planet drastically alters the orbits of the other planets, especially the red planet. It also causes a noticeable wobble in the star's position, just like Jupiter does with our Sun. Here are some other scenarios you can try using the code in the description below. Next time, we'll add a comet to our planetary system and use it as an example of how to study planetary motion with energy.